one catch can determine the outcome of an entire game, whether on the field or in the studio. It's the officials who work just as hard as athletes to determine those calls. For 58 years, the best athletes in the NFL have stepped up to the challenge of competing on the biggest stage in the world at the Super Bowl. While all eyes are on the guys in jerseys competing for the coveted Lombardi Trophy, there's a third team out on the field in black and white, a role former NFL official Gene Steratore knows firsthand. Your level of awareness must be, must be at such a high level that you are going to be able to react to whatever is presented to you and we're not telling you what it is. We don't know. Gene tells me that while it's an honor to officiate the most watched championship game in team sports, it's integrity and passion that are officials driving factors. The greatest thing that can happen on the Super Bowl with the officials is they participate and make thousands of decisions in this three hour window and guess what the goal is? To not be recognized. Officiating in the NFL for 15 years, ending his career at Super Bowl 52, and now helping explain these calls each week on CBS Sports, Gene has been where millions of people only dream of, right out on the turf. That pressure to make those calls and to be 95% accurate, yeah. I'm sure that's that has to be tough, especially... Yeah. With games like the Super Bowl, you've officiated some Super Bowls in your day. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe tell me a little bit about what that pressure is actually like. You can't prepare for the moment that you're wearing a white hat in a Super Bowl that only 30 people have ever done in the history of the game. That either creates a severe panic attack and the pressure swallows you, or you embrace the fact that this is why I do this, and that's why you want to do it, right? Having that unique perspective on the game is what has allowed Gene to be known for some of the toughest calls in NFL history. Difficult decisions that often change the outcome of the game. From famously going against the grain and using an index card to determine a first down. I have never yeah, seen this. I, I have neither. never yeah. seen this. And quite honestly, back in the old days when referees had that problem, right, where it just was that close. Uh, they pulled out their penalty card. When I lifted up, I turned to look and there was a camera. Look at you. <laughs> so the look that has been interpreted as a smirk or you having a good time was, my family knows it was kind of like, oh, I'm in trouble here. There's a camera out here. This may be the bigger issue. To what seemed to be the is it a catch or is it not a catch call that always followed him down to Super Bowl 52 all while under the watchful eye of the entire world. There was some irony in that as my career, you know, kind of intertwined with a specific type play. And then really, I didn't know I was going to retire at that time, so I didn't know it was my last game. He walked straight from the field into the studio as the official NFL rules analyst on CBS alongside NFL legends Jim Nance and Tony Romo, just finishing up his third Super Bowl in this role. Close calls call for his advice, and that on-the-spot thinking mixed with the instant replay in today's game is the future of football. 95% really in my position now with the sake and, and the luxury of rewinding it and going slower, that's not a good enough percentage. We need to be 99.9 .9 now because you get a chance to look at it more than once when I didn't have that luxury on the field or court. The future of the game will continue to grow, but it's the past 57 years of calls from officials that we still remember, along with our favorite commercials and halftime performances that have created memories to last a lifetime. This just isn't another game, right? It, it becomes part of our history. Um, Super Bowls are in the historical narrative of what happened during that year, that decade. So it is history, and you have to, you have to embrace the fact that it is. For 7 News, I'm Bailey Martin, working for you.